Welcome back as uh, some of the fans are heading to the refreshment stand. They'll be back for the men's game. Right now we're going to head on over to Mike and head coach Kia Damon Olson. Here's Mike. Coach uh, Damon Olson, coach, a nice start, right? Take it and run. I'll take it and run. You know, it's, it's good to play against someone else first and foremost. Um, every coach, I mean, every school in the country is a little nicked up right now. We have a little bit of that going on. But I was happy with the, the way the girls came out. I knew there was going to be a little bit of nervous energy. But we got through that, and, and we had a strong start. One of the things I think you're looking for is obviously more scoring. Cut down on the turnovers, more scoring, better interior passing I saw as well tonight. Yeah, we've worked a lot um, from last summer, I mean last season till now, to really fine tune some of those areas. We want more points, and even I thought we left a lot of points on the board today. I'll just credit it to nerves, and but we got to fine tune it for our next game, for sure. Yeah, it takes some time to get the girls to work together. Obviously, uh, you got some new girls in there, but I thought the defense was consol was solid and consistent throughout the whole game. Yeah, that's something that we've been pretty solid on for the last three years. So I want to continue to build on that and give up even less points um, so that if we don't have our nights where we're scoring, we have enough of a room that we can we can manage that. Coach, great start. Thank we'll see you back here in a couple weeks. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you again. Naomi, come on in. We'll bring Naomi Gampo. Naomi, terrific start for you. 12 points career high tonight. Uh, what did you see out there? Obviously, things were clicking on the inside. Yeah, we had a really big advantage on the inside. We knew this before the game, and we did. We made a good use of it. Tell me a couple of things maybe you worked on over the summer, some of the things that you thought, I need to do this and this to get better, to get a little bit more playing time, and obviously put the ball in the hoop. Well, obviously, with um, coming in freshman year, it was really big on conditioning. So over the summer, I worked a lot on, like, getting stronger so I can, like, get better in the inside, obviously. And play more minutes, obviously. We saw you and Natalie in there at the same time, and as soon as we get, obviously, Al Al Alex Santarelli back, it's going to be really big inside. Yeah, it is really going to be big. I hope we're going to have a great season. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, see ya. Thank you. Guys, a terrific start for the girls' game. i tell you what, some bigs inside. Back to you. Mike's getting involved in layup drill right now, I so uh, <laughs> they're getting ready for the men's game. And, John, let's take us through some highlights, and I'll wrap this baby up. There were a lot of them, Gary. Lafayette played very, very well tonight. A lot of people involved, a lot of the youngsters growing into this uh, Division I uh, mentality. Look at uh, Michaela Wilson early on, Gary. You know, Coach uh, Damon Wilson uh, Olson talked to us about uh, Michaela, and uh, she wasn't fooling. I mean, uh, there you see Michaela from the outside. We saw her with a drop step on the inside. Michaela Wilson, a bright spot for the Leopards. Uh, you know, there were times. That time, Jess, uh, Jess Booth really took a, took a gamble and, and gave up a layup, but that was one of the few bright spots for FDU. Watch this young lady, a double-double again for Natalie Kukowski, a little crossover, the lefty to her right hand. 10 points, 12 rebounds, another double-double. Oh, by the way, for Natalie, uh, she was terrific. Drew Freeland from downtown. I like the ability of Lafayette to shoot from the perimeter, Gary. This team is getting better and better. Uh, Bell had a good game on the inside for FDU. Gave them a little boost offensively, but Lafayette just moved the ball so well. A little back cut off a double down, a screen by Nicole Johnson. Again, that was one of Natalie Kukowski's assists. Uh, from the outside, uh, Lindsey Mack uh, had a night uh, shooting the ball. She is their best three-point shooter. There's a little high back screen. Nicole Johnson, again, a great feed from Kukowski. Lafayette executed their offense very well. Giselle Havis from downtown deep. Great job on the catch and shoot by her. Uh, another illustration of Lafayette just being better. Look at the spin move by Nicole Johnson, the sophomore. Uh, and you know, Gary, it's, it's not, don't be surprised if Nicole Johnson and Jess uh, Booth uh, are in the game together. They're, they're you know, stereotypical point guards, uh, but they're capable of playing together as we take a look at tonight's stats. Yeah, good defense when you hold a team to 20% shooting. Lafayette shooting not bad at all. And, of course, uh, rebounds. Lafayette 16 more than the Knights had. And it'll it'll get a little tougher than 61-29. Do want to point out, as John mentioned, Natalie Kukowski with her 16th double-double of her career. Nicole Johnson with 10. And Naomi Gampo with a dozen points, a career high for her. Lafayette wins this one, as you can tell, the big numbers, 61 to 29. That's it. It looks like we'll be back on the air somewhere around 8.30 for you for the Columbia men against the Lafayette men's basketball game. For now, thanks to Mike, certainly thanks to John. John Sabino has been our director.